Hi beauty fam, welcome back to Mickey Car Beauty. I'm Mickey Carico and on my channel I love to talk about luxury skincare, beauty, and sometimes small luxury goods. And today I'm super excited. I got some PR from Suku. Suku Europe sent me some of the new release that's happening January 25th at Soulfridge's of this beautiful collection. There are two signature color eyes, two pure color blushes, 10 new moisture glaze lipsticks, and three liquid luster eyes, and nail polish, which we can't get in the States, but that's part of the release that's coming out January 25th at Selfridges, and then on February 8th at Harrods and Liberty London, the rest of the collection will re be released at those retailers. So Suku sent me 134 to try out the Pure Color Blush in 146, and then one of the Moisture Glaze lipsticks in the shade 06, which I have on my lips. So if you're interested to see how I created this beautiful spring summer 2020 Suku look, then keep watching. I'll do a demo and then have some images and then let you know what I think of this entire collection if it's worth getting. But before we continue, remember to subscribe to my channel. It helps out engagement on my channel and my numbers so that people can actually see that the content I'm creating is actually of interest to you. So remember to subscribe and click all for notification of when all my videos go up. Commenting and liking below really helps out engagement on my channel. So I appreciate you all. I have affiliate links below if you're ever curious about about the makeup I'm wearing. If you're interested, the affiliate links are there for your reference on what's my on my face, or if you're interested in buying the product, a little small commission comes to me and then comes back to the channel for me to buy products to review for you. So I appreciate your support if you end up using those affiliate links. No pressure if you don't. Let's talk about this collection. First of all, thank you Suku Yura for sending me this beautiful, beautiful collection. Um, it is the 2024 Spring Summer Color Collection. It's available January 25th of this year at Selfridges and then February 8th it'll be available at Harrods in Liberty, London. Suku sent me three items. There are two signature color eyes and they sent me the Cool Tone one, which is 134, this one here. And they sent me one of the two pure color blushes. It's this one here, 146. And they have new lipsticks, the Moisture Glaze lipstick, which is different than the Moisture Rich lipstick. It's more balmy, more emollient, and I'm loving it. They have 10 new shades, and I have the color 06 on my lips. And this is the color that I have on. Gorgeous. And 
they also have liquid luster eyes in 06, 103, and 104. They look like really nice colors as well. I don't know if I'll be picking any of those up. I am trying to buy less liquid and cream shadows this year just because they go bad faster. Their shelf life tends to be like 12 months or less. Mizu no Aya, reflecting a spring landscape, the rippling water sparkles with oozing colors while the ripples spread smoothly like a textile. Suku's new color collection is inspired by the bliss of spring. The rich colors infused with beautiful vitality gently embrace an individual's expressions, your unique beauty and strengths, emphasizing shimmer and glow with a touch of sparkle. The collection achieves a colorful and fresh look. I think it's such a beautiful collection and I'll show you now a demo of how we got this look on my face. So we're going to start with this beautiful quad and these entire products were gifted to me by Suku Europe. So thank you Aya who I've worked with and these products. They reached out to me and they let me pick three products that I wanted to test. And they also sent me PR materials. This is quad 134 and it's called Sakura. Sakura Atosushi. These colors are so beautiful. They're very cool tone. It's kind of a little bit matching what I'm wearing now. I'm grabbing a Wayne Goss 16 brush and just going into this shade here. And what I can tell you is that these are two matte shades. There was an S here at the bottom and it's already rubbed off. So this is the Slurry Signature Color Eyes Formula. These are the matte ones, and this is uh, some glitter, not glitter, it's more of a shimmer shade, very creamy. Both these are very creamy, and there's about three colors in here. So it's more of a topper, and this is more of the shimmer shade that has a lot of impact. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried. Sometimes these mauve Cool Tone colors don't show up on me because I'm medium tam olive and this is showing up. I love cool tones and sometimes it's hard to find makeup that actually shows up without looking ashy. So, so far this is a really nice color and I'm actually just going to put that all over my lid and I've primed my eyelids already. And today I have Suku, the original jar foundation on my face, shade 35 on the center and 40 on the outside and I'm using that today. I have a total of the three foundations from Suku. I just want to use up what's going to expire in my collection. I'm going to use this Few Day brush. It doesn't have a label. It's so cute. Let me just show you. I got this from Few Day Japan and it was one of their kind of grab bag giveaways. Like if you spend $25 they send you like three different brushes in certain categories and it's a Few Day brush. It's like this iridescent pink it's pearl pearl pink I just love it it's like this cute travel size but um you know just Japanese brushes are fantastic I just figure I use to use Japanese brushes while I'm using um this Japanese product so I'll get in this is gonna be the kind of the showstopper shade I think you know it's really pretty I'm glad I've got this quad I am kind of a neutral basic gal at heart. So on the other eye, I'm grabbing my Pat McGrath Intensifies Wand. And this is something I often do with Suku just because I want to see how much more impact I can get with the shades. Because Japanese makeup is really, really subtle generally. And so is Suku. So I put the Intensifies Wand, which is like glitter glue on a stick on this eye. So you can see it's just more intense on this eye. The downside of the Intensifies wand, I would say, is that it grabs more product. So if you have wrinkles, it, you're, it will probably show more of your wrinkles, which I'm not ashamed of. These are well earned through my years. I just want to show you what it can do in terms of impact. And I'm just laying down the color and patting it down. I'm not kind of rubbing it in. Super pretty. The shimmer shades, there's so creamy and smooth. There's definitely some sort of oil in here. High quality, high quality makeup. So pretty. 
and it looks so boring and basic. I know a lot of people won't like these color stories, but in real life, it's just really pretty and elegant. It reminds me a lot of the makeup, um, like Chanel, but like more interesting and more interesting color stories. Next. So this is also like a topper shade. And then there's this shade here. I think I'm going to go into the topper shade and just kind of tap it in. It just lightens up the look a little bit more and certainly if you just wanted to put it just in the inner corner you can but I'm gonna try to kind of amplify this look what I'll do is actually just put it on the first inner third of this look here so the ends look a little bit um, darker so far I'm really liking it with the intensifies wand it just adds just a little bit more zhuzh and intensity here it's more subtle this is, I would say, more like an evening look. So I'm taking a Chikahoto brush. This is Squirrel Hair. This is one of my favorite brands for brushes, Chikahoto. I'm going into that deepest shade and just, I want to use this to deepen up the look. And I want this along my lash line. And it's going to, again, it's going to be really indiscernible because these are very similar colors. great about this brush is that it's squirrel hair so over my eyes it's super soft like velvety soft and then I'm cleaning it off and then actually going into that light shade and using that same shade I started with the top to connect the bottom this is probably one of the softest brushes for like a maze for smudging okay, I'm actually going in with this BK Beauty smudger brush because actually it does pick up a little bit more and then I'm using that to smudge on the bottom This is a synthetic hair and it's very much stiffer than the other. So I finished the eye look. I'll get in close so you can see. So this is the final eye look with this quad. This is quad 134. Very cool tone with a little bit of cool. It's not cool neutral. I would say there's a little bit of a mauvey purple undertone. And I don't have any lip product on other than the Suku Wrapping Trip Treatment Wrapping Lip. I think this is in the color, it's kind of like a clear gloss. This is 106. I just needed some moisturizer on my lips, but I'll take it off before I use the lipstick. There were also two blushes. I got shade 146. It's the one that's more pinky coral with a blue shift. And I probably should have gotten the other one because it's more orange and a pink highlighter. Probably show up more on my skin tone, but I really love this color. It's just so pretty. If I do it this way, it kind of blows it out. But you can see this looks like a really pretty coral color. I wanted to see if this would show up on me. I don't have any bronzer on on purpose. So I'm using a Chikahoto brush again, another Japanese scroll hair brush. My first introduction to Suku were the blushes. I still think the Suku blushes are their best product. So beautiful. I'm going to go into the other side. They have such unique colors and they look so silky and beautiful going on. Very unique colors. If there was one thing I kind of wish I would see more from Suku is that they um, are not afraid to go with more bold colors that show up for deeper skin tones. And I have to supplement my camera lighting in the winter because it's just gray all day. You don't understand. Like people think it just rains all day in Seattle. It's more just the gray cast that there's like 50 shades of Seattle gray that happens. Okay, so I'm just over blushing so you can see that it does show up on my medium pan skin tone. It's like this, I would say a pinkish coral color. So pretty. I'm going in with my Sony G Detail Pro. I use this often for um, highlighter. I'm going into the blue side of this highlight. Let's see if it actually shows up. It's very subtle. It just kind of cools down the look a little bit. Pretty. It's very subtle. I wouldn't look at this as like a beaming highlight. It's more 
that I would say I would the way I want to use this I think in the future is either just use this shade here alone or combine it both so it becomes kind of like more this luminous luminous blush let me just see if I can do that yeah there's a luminosity if I add that just all over I don't know if you can see the difference that's just more of the blush by itself but then if I add the blue it just it does actually make it a little lighter so something to know about that I want the impact of the color so I don't think I'm going to combine it too much pretty so so pretty I love Suku's blushes So this is a new formula for Suku. They're called the Moisture Glaze Lipsticks. And I actually, I have to admit, I actually tried it because I was like, I couldn't wait. They're different than their Moisture Rich Lipsticks. And so they have a Vibrant Rich, which is more of the matte lipsticks. And that's the finish. And I'll do a swatch here. Definitely is more matte. Really creamy, they're lovely. And then they have the moisture rich lipsticks, which I have maybe two or three of these. So they're very emollient. I wouldn't say like they're balm lipsticks, but they definitely have a slick, a slickness to them. Again, these are the moisture rich lipsticks. Uh, the first one, what was this color called? Rinku Coolberry Nude. And then this other one, I haven't labeled it yet. 129. Okay, and let me now show you the new lipsticks. This is the Moisture Glaze. So it's moisture, not moisture rich, it's moisture glaze. And what's different is that these are now in refillable components. They come out like this, so you can buy the refills it's very moisturizing but also it's much softer it started to actually collapse a little bit in the bullet so I would advise not putting this up all the way just just use enough that you need because it started to bend in the bullet so this is the moisture glaze lipstick so I would say the moisture rich lipsticks look a more pigmented these two you can see they're they're moisturizing as well but this feels like even more emollient and maybe less pigmented i don't know we'll see this is the first time i'm trying it and again i got these um in pr thank you suku again and again the it comes in this kind of refill and it came separate in this and it comes with a cover to keep the lipstick intact and certainly you can just probably keep it in the case and not have to worry about this and there's a total of 10 new moisture glaze lipsticks i picked the one that was going to be not matching necessarily for this look which is cool tone i picked one i was like i picked a color that i knew i was going to use every day so my standard are like pinky nudes and brown nudes and i picked more of like a brown nude color Beautiful. I love this like like 90s lipstick. It's kind of my thing. I'm using Decade from Lisa Eldridge. And that's the liner. Such a great match. That's that color over here. Decade next to number six, the Moisture Glaze lipstick. And let me just switch it a little bit. Beautiful. I love it. I love this lipstick. In this season now, I just love it because my lips need so much moisture. Mmm, beautiful. All right, so let's talk about this collection and I'll give you my initial thoughts on everything I have. I just have to say that I'm already biased. I really love Suku as a brand. I just think they're just some of the most beautiful products and elegant luxury beauty products on the market right now. And that has to do with it coming from Japan. I really think they care about the execution, the packaging, 
the layout. Let's talk about this first look. This is the quad 134. There's two quads that came out. This is the cool tone one. It does have a little bit of mauve purpley undertones and that's why I wanted it. Obviously, like I love this color. The other one is 135. It has maybe orange and blue in it. I'm on the fence if I'm going to get that just because blues can, and that shade of blue can sometimes be hard to show up on me just because it's my skin tone. If you want me to get it and review it, let me know below because then I will buy it. Going on with this look, I think it's beautiful. I was a little worried this if this was going to show up, but in the demo, you could see that it shows up on me. This is a nice shade to add depth to the color. This is the shimmer shade. I think this shade is everything. It is so pretty. I could just use that on my shade, on my eyes and call that a one and done. And for this, it's a topper. It's extra. You don't need it. But I think between those two, it adds a really nice dimension, which I did. You can see more on this eye because I used the Intensifies one. I just think it's so pretty that with Intensifies one or glitter glue, you can make a more like evening kind of evening look on this side. And if you just want more of a daytime simpler look I would just probably use these two and just eyeliner I probably wouldn't use that because it's a little extra but I love it I love this I, I was worried it was going to look too much like their original Su um, Suku Signature Eyes series this is Mitsuhana 01 and yes it's cool tone but this doesn't really have that much shimmer in it this one the, when, it's, when you start to get the 100 plus series those are limited edition so these are kind of like cousins not twins let me actually show you some swatches of this mitsuhana this is zero one definitely more muted you can see it's similar but not the same it's similar but not the same i would say this 120 134 quad is more cool tone more purple this is more like a pinky earth tones neutral but they're both pretty together but definitely this 134 is more cool tone more purpley pink hue if you can see so it's not the same so I'm glad that because I almost didn't get 134 because I thought oh it looks too close to 01 Mitsuhana it's not you can see this is a little bit more maybe mm, it's more brown pink and this one is more purple so I'm so glad I got 134. I think it's beautiful. And then there's this blush. So beautiful. No complaints. I haven't met a Suku blush that I dislike. I think almost every Suku blush I've tried, I've liked. If I didn't like it, it's probably because it wasn't my color scheme. Maybe it was a little bit too bright, but that's just not for me. I remember there being one that was very orange, but I think for summer it looks great. But this is so pretty, this cool tone one. I'm on the fence. I actually might get the other blush because I think it's more orange and I'm interested in blushes more than quads nowadays but let me know I'm if you prefer for this is 147 this is the one I didn't get because I'm really happy with this but if you want me to get either the other quads that I didn't get let me know because then I'll, I'll go ahead and purchase that let's talk about the moisture glaze lipstick you know just when you think a uh, brand can't improve more on itself. Well, Suku just surprises me. I think the Moisture Rich Lipstick Formula was fantastic already, and they just kind of went next level with this new formula. So this is the Moisture Rich Lipstick here. Look how emollient that is. Such beautiful, rich colors. That's um, shade 129, and this is a one I use a lot. This is more the purple berry one. This is number 11 brinku this is not limited edition so if you want this color this is like the cool tone berry one and this is the moisture glaze so the difference again i talked about it is that the moisture glaze is more emollient it's like slicker um it almost feels a little bit thinner and I don't know it's pretty pigmented I would say maybe the moisture rich lipsticks might be a hair more pigmented whereas these could be sheared out more yeah you can see that you can shear them out more I have so much lipstick I should really not be getting any more lipstick but I really love this shade I might get one more or just wait until there's a sale so if there's a color you're interested for me to get the moisture glaze lipstick they have some 
like it's henny yummy colors look how beautiful that is some of them lean a little bit more orange so i'm not interested in that the two that i'm looking at were the purple one which oh, i think i won't get it because i have this one already and then i was looking at the ones that were like berry pink red i think that might be fun to get like a bright one for spring so i'll get at least one more moisture glaze lipstick I'll likely get the blush and then that's it. So if you want me to get <laughs> the other signature color eyes and more uh, colors of the moisture rich lipstick, let me know. Um, I think that's it. I just want to get this video up because I think some of you are trying to decide whether or not you're going to get items from this Suku 2024 spring and summer color collection, this beautiful collection here. Let me know what you think of this final look. And at the end, I will add some pictures, uh, some still pictures and videos I took with my iPhone. Sometimes I think the iPhone, and I know this actually, the iPhone Pro Max 13 that I have has different, um, I actually think the color quality is just a hair better than my digital camera. So the camera's great for filming and then I use it, for, I used to use my phone for filming, but the quality is better on this um, Sony that I have. But in terms of shorter videos and pictures, the color quality is just more accurate. So at the end, I always try to put pictures of my final look so you can see really what the product looks like. So let me know what you think of this makeup look beauty fam. Let me know if you're interested in Suku this year of getting anything from this collection. Let me know what you want me to pick up because this was all PR gifted to me. So thank you Suku Europe for the wonderful gift. I really appreciate it. And remember to subscribe, comment, and like below. It really helps the engagement on my channel. And then I have my affiliate links below, which if you would like to support my channel, that does help earn well, for me a little small commission whenever you purchase something but no pressure if you don't want they're there actually more for your reference because a lot of people sometimes this really happens in my older videos that they're like they ask me they chime in on the comments from videos I've done like a year or two below and they're like what lipstick are you wearing and I'm like I don't remember so a lot of it's just archiving the looks and makeup that I use but if you ever are looking at this video um, and this is 2024 and like a year or two from now you'll know what makeup I'm using on my face so today I'm using the Suku jar foundation this is the original and then everything from the new collection from Suku spring summer 2024 for. As always, please be very kind with yourself and others and just be you. And until the next video, take good care of yourself, beauty fam. Bye. And here are some images of this look, um, some photo stills and some video from my iPhone camera. Mm -hmm.